An emergency flood protection project is underway in Flagstaff. Construction crews rushing to finish parts of this before the next big rainfall. Several neighborhoods have been hit hard by flooding this summer, and the monsoon still has more than a month left to go. Fox 10's Brian Webb shows us what's being done. So this is the first active monsoon since the museum fire a couple of years ago. Downstream, Flagstaff is getting up to 10 times more floodwaters than it used to, much more than these canals and washes can handle. And it all started on top of Mount Eldon with a little spark from a piece of machinery. This is what an emergency flood project looks like. Men and women in hard hats measuring, hauling, and digging as fast as they can. All welcome news to the homeowners downhill. It looks really sad. It looks like a war zone. I mean, it's filthy, it's dirty. There's a lot of people that have beautiful property and it's it's ruined. This work is being done at the foot of Mount Eldon where the rain runoff becomes the first signs of flooding. Crews are shoring up the sides with boulders after carving out these canals that might make Goldilocks proud. So there's kind of a sweet spot, not too narrow, but not too wide. We want to move the water, but also the sediment. The museum fire not only torched a lot of trees, it baked the soil so rainwater, like my bottled water, won't soak into the ground, sending floodwaters into the neighborhoods downstream. This is what the county is trying to stop, or at least slow, dangerous and damaging floods, turning cars into canoes, neat and tidy homes into soaked and filthy haunts. The water coming off the forest is more than we can handle, and, uh, and so we expect to continue to see some flooding, but we're trying to do everything we can to decrease it. The 400 homes in the Mount Eldon floodplain are now fortified by sandbags and concrete barriers. But even that might not be enough for what Flagstaff had coming. I think it's good that they're doing it now. I wish they would have done it sooner. And so it's been crazy. The city and county are looking at dozens more possible projects that could include more storm drains and basins to handle all the water, much of it paid by state and federal funds. And it may take several more years before the burn scar is fully healed. In Flagstaff, I'm Brian Webb, Fox 10 News.